But as speaker, I just want to highlight and to support uh, submissions that have been made by, by my colleague, Senator Chirargei, uh, always raising issues. But Madam Speaker, just to speak to the importance of PSC and PIC, and the fact that PIC has now is, is engaged from uh, PSC. First of all, let me highlight on the outcome of the, the two petitions, petition 31 and 27, and the finding of the Supreme Court. Uh, the previous speakers have spoken to the importance of a summon to governors. And I think it is that accountability, Madam Speaker, that is important, that a personal surcharge will be a consequence of governors not appearing before Senate, under 226.5. That, Madam Speaker, governors in this country must know that when Senate summons them, they have an obligation to appear. And I think this Senate must work differently from the previous Senate. That, Mr. Chirergei, this Senate must go beyond, over and above what you did, so that where a governor refuses to appear before the Senate, I think the Senate will take further action. I am alive, Madam Speaker, for instance, to the statement that will be brought by the, by, by the Senate for Narrow Conrad or Ledamo Lekina on accountability, on the, what na, na, Narrow County has done to the park, and we have no clear accounts. Madam Speaker, we must emphasize that under this new Senate, now that the PIC is, 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 is separate from the PAC, we, we want to see all those public investments and special funds set by counties accounted for. We want to see, for instance, independent institutions, for instance, in my county, Yaramogi Oginga Odinga Hospital, coming up and showing us how it runs the facility, how it accounts for funds, how services are rendered to the public and to the citizens of the county. We want to see, Madam Speaker, delegated legislation working. We want to see the committee working and delivering. And when that committee sits, I hear Senator Omogeni is in that committee, that we see a result. We do not want to see a back and forth. Uh, uh, Senator, uh, the, 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 the Senator for Kakamega ha has spoken to the question of accountability. Today he wears the big shoes of the, of the majority leader. And, and he has pointed that under the Constitution, Chapter 10, uh, uh, Madam Speaker, accountability and basic accountability of senators and of all members, public officers, Madam Speaker, underpins the work of these sessional committees, the three sessional committees. And it is, Madam Speaker, uh, a message that we must send to all governors that this time round, let us do things differently in Senate. I don't need to take more time than that, Madam Speaker, but I support that all members in these committees, and I see diverse skills in these committees, have to rise to the occasion and do something differently. I understand, Madam Speaker, that in the last Senate, uh, Chairman would have meetings with some of the people who are summoned, and some of these questions would then just disappear. That culture must stop. That culture must stop. We must have a Senate that accounts, a Senate that calls upon every governor in this country to account so that all those funds that are disbursed to those counties, Madam Speaker, find work in what they are intended for. We want to see roads constructed if there are funds that are supposed to, to, to be used for maraming or ma making transport easy. My land friend has spoken to, to roads in his, in his county. You cannot access them. And finally, Madam Speaker, it is the public that suffers where funds meant for public purpose are pilfered or diverted for use in other sectors, or find their way into the private pockets of the individual. Uh, Madam Speaker, it is sad, for instance, this afternoon, that we have heard of NMS and the act of non-service that it did to the people of the county of Nairobi, city county. We would want to see, we would want to see the report that my friend has spoken to, so that we know whether NMS serves, served its purpose created as it was when, uh, when powers were given by the, 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 the former governor of Ruby City County, the Honorable Bosonko, and I'm sure later he regretted his act. Madam Speaker, I rise to support. Thank you.